This evening, when I was outside, a sister came to me and told me, pray for me, my Iman is weak. I said, sister, Allah will help you with it by hook or crook. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. May Allah grant her goodness and all of us, myself included goodness. May Allah grant us death upon La ilaha illallah. My brothers and sisters, as I speak, there are thousands of people who are not Muslim, who are studying the Quran and studying the life of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and being inspired by true Muslims. But you and I who are Muslim, what are we doing with the Quran? Are we going to read it? Are we going to be inspired by it? Are we going to understand that that is the word of Allah? And that is the ultimate gift that Allah has blessed you with. And Allah has blessed me with. May Allah Almighty grant us the ability to appreciate the status of his word. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness. Amin. My brothers, my sisters, Remember that if Allah has chosen you, Allah Almighty will make easy for you to do good. And this is Allah. Allah Almighty says when you have a good heart and you are generous and you care for others, He will slowly but surely make easy for you the deeds that are pleasing to Him. And when you are arrogant and haughty and you are miserly and you don't spend on others and you're only worried about yourself, Allah says He facilitates for you deeds that will result in you unplugging from Him and distancing from Allah. Read Surah Al-Layl. Verses, I explained them just before I recited them. May Allah Almighty grant us ease in a way that brings us closer and closer to Him as the days pass. My brothers and sisters, many of us are struggling with faith. Connect with the Quran, read a little bit of it, a portion of it, make an effort. Without making an effort, you're not going to get anywhere. Listen to what Allah says. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Those who are going to strive and work hard and struggle, strive towards us. You strive towards Allah. You want to get Allah. You are serious and genuine about your claim that you would like to get closer to Allah. You want to strengthen your faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, we will definitely guide them towards our paths. We will definitely open for them the doors that will lead them to us. So many doors lead you towards Allah. Your prayer leads you towards Allah. Your charity leads you towards Allah. Allah says, lend Allah a beautiful loan. What's the meaning of that? Do so much of good and be so charitable that you have lent Allah alone. He needs to recompense it for you. Did Allah not promise you when you do salah, I will reward you. When you've given zakah, I will reward you. When you struggle and strive towards pleasing us, I will reward you. Where is that reward? In this world, we may or may not see it. But in the hereafter, I'm waiting. Why? I lent Allah a good loan. I'm going to see it come back to me multiplied by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you see the reward of the patience that you bore because you were terminally ill, you will say to Allah, why didn't you keep me ill for a longer time? This is an amazing, beautiful reward. When you see the reward that Allah has kept in store for you for standing at night in prayer, for getting up against all odds in the cold weather, you will think to yourself, I should have done this longer and I should have actually done this for a longer time and started early on in my life. May Allah grant us a turning point in the right direction. Amin.